Hello there guys, it is Max so Diddly here and today I'm here with another Java tutorial to help you get that A in your coursework and today we're going to be here with copying a file. So what do I mean by copying a file? Let's say we have a file full of records. I'm going to teach you how you can copy that using Java. So this could be handy if you want to create a backup. So let's get right into it. But firstly, here is the file we're going to back up. It's called data.txt. I got some Bible verses or whatever you want to call them in here. So we're going to be copying them because we love the Bible and if we lost it, we would be very sad. That is not the whole Bible, by the way. The whole Bible has like a million-ish words. Anyway, let's get right into the video. And it's very short. So inside here, we want to do file, original file, equals new file. Make sure that has a capital F. Then we want to put the file path, data.txt. Then we want to do file, new file, equals new file, backup.txt. Right click on file to fix the imports, to import the java.io.file library. So what are we doing here? Basically we're making two file objects. One, which is basically the, the file we already have and that we want to copy. And the second one is going to be the new file we create which will have exactly the same as the original file. That's why I have new file and original file. You can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call it backup.txt because I want to. Make sure the file path here is what the original file that you want to copy is called. Because mine is called data.txt, so I'll put that in there. Now we want to do a try catch. I want to do try catch except I can't even type. Exception E, I can't type. And inside the try, we want to, well, no, before we do that, try catch, try a bit of code. If it's if it succeeds, move on. If it fails, do what's ever in the catch. There. We'll do files dot copy. Orig you know what? I can't even type today. So I'm just going to copy and paste the original file into there. dot to path and then after that comma new file dot to path so what do we do here well basically what we're doing is you need to do file stop copy this is just a method which will basically copy the contents of one file to another file so what we'll do is we'll do uh, the file object's name then a dot then we do to path with brackets on the end then we do a comma then we do the same thing, but with the with the new with the other file object. So we would do new file dot two path with the bracket things at the end, and that just copies the contents of one file to another file. And if that if that file doesn't exist, it will just create the file. I like to mention if you do not have these file objects created for the files you want to manipulate, it will return an error. So we want to do system dot out dot print line error. So, I'll quickly show you what it looks like here. Look, we have everything here. We have data.txt. This is our file that we like. We want to copy and make a backup of. Here, and we will see a backup.txt in this folder. So, let's run the program. It might actually take some time, depends on how long it takes to copy. And as you can see, no error was returned, implying that this code worked. So, let us look. Oh, and look, we got backup.txt. And look, it's got exactly the same thing as before. All of the Bible stuff. All good stuff. So guys, it's been a very quick tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Be sure to share with your friends and family. And sorry for the, like, weird voice. I'm a bit ill today. And happy Halloween! Woo! Uh, I hope you all have a great Halloween. I know I will, hopefully. So, yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for the great audience.